Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus ZenBook laptop. The exact model for this one is an Asus ZenBook UX 31e version. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage on this one. If yours is running out of storage or the storage is really degraded and you just want to replace it, there's an easy way to do it. and I'll leave the link for a new SSDs and the adapter that you will need to do the upgrade in a video description. Just remember, after doing any SSD upgrade, storage upgrade, you might want to install your Windows correctly from the USB boot drive. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also, I made a video how to properly install your Windows 10 or 11. Those links will be in the video description. So first thing first, you want to back up your files and you want to power off the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. I'm going to leave the front end towards me and the back end towards the other side. The tool that I'll be using is an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get the basic set, they will include you with a screwdriver bits and some, you know, this thing right over here, extension. But if you get the pro set, they will give you opening tools and tweezers, few, few other stuff. From this tool set, we're going to be using a torque number five. So we're going to grab a torque number five and on the bottom of the laptop, we're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and in height, except the two back mid ones right here. These two are the longest screws. So you're going to remove these two screws first and keep them in a separate pile. So go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate pile. Now we're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos, helpful and helping you guys out through your own upgrades. You can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all the screws, we're gonna grab it from the back end right in here, and we're gonna lift it up bring it towards the side. And down here right away, we can see uh, uh, the SSD right in the mid. This one is a 128 gig sand disk. Probably is degraded up for now. And there's a little warranty label right in here. You probably, your warranty is worn out. Before we do anything in here, you could upgrade it without disconnecting the battery. But if you want to be on the safe side, you can just pull this uh, gaffer's tape upward towards the ceiling. And the battery should get disconnected very easy. There you go. Just lift up upward. Now to remove the, the hard drive, you want to grab yourself the torque. I mean the Phillips number zero, and you want to puncture through the oops, through this warranty label. There's a tiny screw right there. That's a Phillips. Remove it. Now you can lift up up to here, 45 degree, and pull out the SSD drive. These are especially connected uh, SSD right in here. So you cannot just grab any NVMe drive to place it in there. So let's say that I'll let me find an NVMe right over here. So if you bring an NVMe drive in here, you're gonna see the connectors are way different. They have a different connection here. Even the SAT and NVMe, I mean M.2. SATA, they have a different connectors right in here. There is an adapter that they sell that it converts this connector to uh, M.2 uh, SATA connector. So you can put the adapter and then put the M.2 over and then you can just screw it down. So I'll get the link for that adapter. So pretty much you're gonna get the adapter, you wanna snug it right down there in the slot right there just like that and then you want to bring it down and then put the new ssd over the adapter inside the adapter so it can adapt, adapt the connection to the this special jack right there and that's how you can uh, put the new ssd so you don't have to go around to buy this expensive especially made ssds for this zen book all right so that's how you can just remove and add yours so i'm gonna put it back in 45 degree bring it down Make sure the screw holes nicely matching and you can just screw it down there. I'll actually try to get the link for this uh, original SSDs. If I can find any link, I'll leave the link in the video description. 
So remember, this one doesn't take any NVMe. It takes an M.2 SATA. But if I find an adapter for NVMe, I'll leave that link in the video description. I'll indicate that. All right. Once you finish with that one, you just want to grab this adapter for the battery. You want to align it straight over the jack and push it inside right there. Once you're done with that, just grab the case, the bottom power, put down the front end in the corners right there, and bring it down and keep it right there. And put the two screws in the back mid, and then the rest of the screws goes all around. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for storage. And if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.